all right everybody welcome to the channel hope you're doing well um as you can see i installed the rupa unleashed 4.4.1 the newest version and it's kind of incredible i have this stuff again in my machine as you know the rupa unleashed is removed from the repository of github so i found a way how to install this incredible incredible stuff uh, again and use it if you do the same steps that i'm taking probably there gonna be no problem with the installation so uh, we're gonna jump right into the process First, we need to go to this link. I uh, leave this in the description, codebrook.org, and this link here. This is the uh, files of Rupa Unleashed, which has been removed from the repository of GitHub, and we have it again here. And here is the features, and this is the instructions for the installation. So. We're gonna jump right in. The first step, uh, actually it's zero. We copy this command, get clone, this link here. Actually it is the same as here. After that, we need to create a new folder here. Roop unleashed. So after doing that, we need to uh, opening CMD go to address bar click on it and type CMD and press enter so after doing this we need to uh, copy this command here get clone this uh, address here it's actually the same uh, of this address here and copy that command here and paste it into the CMD so waiting for cloning it's not getting that much time so it's done uh, then we need to go to um, this directory root fluid so we paste this and we are in the root fluid directory it's actually the same of here we are in here if we type dir it's actual direction we're gonna see the files that are in this direction which has been cloned from the github so the first step is to create a virtual environment this is crucial to not um, mess up your system we need to create a virtual environment to be safe uh, the point is that we can make that uh, come on here and create a virtual environment but but the point is that it didn't make for me I create a, created a virtual environment but the environment that was working for me was the conda activate my inf this was the virtual environment that was working for me so to create this um, virtual environment we need to first download and install uh, the conda to do that we need to go to google and type for conda and install here is the installing on windows downloading and installing <coughs> those kind of stuff mini conda or uh, yeah you need to download if you don't know how to install conda you need to anaconda you need to um, search it from the YouTube anyway so after downloading and installing conda we need to add to conda to the uh, variables to do that we need to type from the store uh, environment edit the system environment variables click on it click on environment variables and here from the path this section system variables from the path double click on it and as you can see uh, let me find it 
this is the Kunda bin. After downloading and installing uh, Kunda, here is um, Kunda 3 Kunda bin. Here is uh, users Kunda Anaconda 3 uh, Kunda bin, this directory. After downloading and installing Anaconda, you must have this directory. Just click on it and copy that and you can I, I already made it doesn't need to do that again but you need to double click on here and paste the direction this here uh, this is the username your uh, username is different actually and then click on OK I already added this directory doesn't need to do that again and click on OK I already did it doesn't need to do that again so after doing this, you have Kunda and you can use it in the command line prompt. So, I have this virtual environment by the Kunda. This was crucial for me because actually, without that, I couldn't have the virtual environment. So, we are getting back to the third step, Kunda and install and uh, for NVIDIA users, if you have AMD graphic card, you need to do this um, command. So copy this command and paste it to the CMD and press enter. And yeah, I already have the stuff, so I uh, didn't took that much time, but but in your machine will be different. Then the step is crucial. Here is the um, command. If you go to the root Floyd directory, uh, you can see a text file requirements.txt, and this is all the requirements we need to install. So by typing this command here, pip and install dash r requirements we are uh, pasting here and after that we need to add the dot txt to the file and pressing enter waiting for downloading and installing i already downloaded all the stuff so it isn't taking that much time but for some users, it might be hard to do this step. This one, actually, I mean, pip install dash r requirements. It's because uh, you need to download and install some other stuff, some components. It is VS Code Build Tools 2022. Here is the Microsoft link and you need to download it free and I already downloaded it so I already downloaded it so after downloading this app you need to open it you need to open it and download some crucial apps to install this requirement so I already downloaded and installed all the stuff but in your case you in your machine if you didn't install all those stuff uh, you can see some applications like Android SDK for Windows 11 <clears throat> or um, Visual Studio or other stuff by clicking install uh, you can install those stuff so after that <clears throat> um, you can run this command here this was crucial for me because I was a beginner um, and I couldn't do uh, this command because I need that requirement so uh, we did that and the sixth step uh, we're gonna pip install upgrade Gradio Force. Uh, copy that command and go to CMD and press enter. Paste it and press enter. So 
I already have this stuff. And after that, we need to do the um, seven step pip install upgrade, fast API, Pydentic. And let this one finish. So we install all the packages here radio fast api and yep yeah, without an error so the eight step pip install numpy this is crucial um, the version of numpy must be under version 2 and it's kind of about 2.5 gigabyte 2.5 gigabyte uh, and yes I already downloaded it and yep yeah. and the um, nine step we're gonna run python run.py we have a file here from the root fluid we have a python file run.py if you run this one we are actually going to uh, download the models there after doing this command there will be a folder here uh, uh, name models and by running this command the system will download the models packages so click uh, paste the command and press enter uh, it it will take some time and it will download about um, 4.5 gigabytes so I already downloaded it and after downloading this uh, you can see the download is starting and I already has had the, all the stuff so uh, this was the uh, main steps that you should take to download and install all the packages and all those stuff uh, but uh, I, I I will close this one because I got the uh, system downloaded and all the stuff so <clears throat> um, another point I want to mention is to download uh, FFmpeg this is crucial because without this one you cannot run the uh, AI group unleashed so you are going to download the FFmpeg you can search it on Google FFmpeg download You can download it from here. Um, select a version, uh, Windows. You can download this one here, and this is the full package. You're gonna download it. I already downloaded it. So you are going to um, extract these files here to the drive C. After doing this open the direction bin copy this direction and again go to uh, environment variables this one and environment variables go to path here and you can double click on this part and paste the direction and clicking on ok I already did it so I'm clicking on ok I already did it doesn't need to do that again so uh, and um, this is the models I, I downloaded it's about 5.38 gigabytes and <clears throat> if you want to run the uh, Republish go to uh, the folder that you download all the stuff in it just uh, go to direction from the top and type CMD and um, virtual environment you gotta do it every time conda activate my env 
my environment and we need to go to final step here python run dot py and the system will open the root polish model by itself this is the local We need to uh, wait a little bit to uh, Rupaunlish load up and it's it's still loading. So here is the thing. Um, this is the source images and here is the target files. Uh, for instance, I'm gonna uh, have a face swap between Ronaldo and Messi waiting for upload image. And as you can see, it uh, recognized the face of Ronaldo, target face. And here is the messy face. Want to have a face swap. And here, select post processing code former. And we can click on start. As you can see here from the CMD, uh, processing has finished. And. It finished. Here is. We have a, a face swap between Ronaldo and Messi. It's incredible stuff, man. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any idea or further questions, um, you can comment down below. And thank you for watching.